ladies and gentlemen, just giving an update on all of these earthquakes that are occurring across our globe. Once again, central Italy rocked by magnitude 4.3 earthquakes earlier this summer, August 24th, 2016, a devastating earthquake rocked central Italy and there was loss of life and with these types of earthquakes, there will always be the potential for loss of life. Geologists are giving their scientific reasons for this type of occurrence. However, when we're dealing with Planet X, the approachment of Nibiru, we're looking in a different avenue. Now, going back all the way into the biblical times and also the writings of the first Chinese dynasty dating back 4,000 years, their occurrences were noted as very, very strong earthquake activity. Now, back in those times, they didn't have words for these types of occurrences, but they wrote and depicted them the best that they could. Now, going into this article, which I'll leave a link to, Italy has already sustained several massive earthquakes. I consider a magnitude 5.0, 6.0. These are very, very strong earthquakes, folks, and they are literally stretching out for hundreds and hundreds of miles, and people are filling them all over the country. Now, the geologists are basically saying because of this fault line that runs up through central Italy, this is the reason why this is occurring. Okay, well, let's think about this. If we had the approachment of a large planet, heavily magnetized, such as Nibiru. And as it's getting closer and closer, its force and its power is literally pulling at the Earth's tectonic plates. Now, we were seeing a lot of earthquake activity in the beginning of the summer, throughout the entire summer, leading up into the fall. But nothing that was absolutely major. A lot of 2.0s, 2.5s, in the threes of magnitude. However, now it seems that the magnitude of these earthquakes is getting much stronger and the frequency of the strength in the earthquakes around the globe is getting stronger. Now, Italy is just, it's just being devastated. There is an article here that has drone footage of the devastation. I'm going to include this link in the description box under this video. So you can go ahead, read this article, check out this information because it is devastating for this country. But looking at the live earthquake map for today, we just refreshed this map. There are large earthquakes occurring all over the world. Now, the majority of these are not going to be publicized in your daily news. They may not be on CNN or Fox News but they are occurring. Let's just take a look. Right now, 13 hours ago, Colombia, magnitude 5. Several uh, earthquakes in Argentina, Chile, 5.1. All of the earthquakes occurring once again on the west coast of the United States. I'll leave a link for this. You can go ahead and check it out. Perry, Oklahoma, magnitude 3.5. Um, Arkansas, magnitude 2.28, and then there was a small earthquake felt in North Carolina yesterday. The earthquakes continued to uh, produce tremors in Italy uh, 11 hours ago, magnitude 4.3. So as you can see, Iran, magnitude 4.3. Moving over, we have uh, over in New Guinea, a magnitude 4.9. So there are earthquakes erupting all around the globe but the magnitude of the earthquakes is getting much higher and the frequency is getting much stronger now let's just take a look at today's statistics for earthquakes 91 earthquakes today 713 earthquakes in the past seven days 3,000 44 earthquakes in the past month and almost tipping the scale at 41,000 earthquakes this year. Now, some of the biggest earthquakes today, 5.4, Colombia. This week, 6.6 .6 in Italy. 
This month, uh, they've had several. Uh, West New Britain, Papua New Guinea, 6.9. The heaviest and strongest earthquake this year, a 7.8 in Ecuador. So folks, listen, you can listen to the geologists, you can listen to the scientists, but what we know as a fact, Nibiru is getting closer. Planet X is definitely getting closer to us. We have hundreds of photographs that are coming in that we can't explain scientifically other than there is a rogue planet coming our way and it is rocking Mother Earth. So if you're going to continue to listen to all of the disinformation that's out there, then go right ahead. Continue to listen to it. But everything going on around us right now is kind of disinformation. This ridiculous election that the United States is having right now. The threat of World War III. I mean, folks, listen, what do we have to fight with Russia about? Nothing. Why should we enter into a World War III? We don't have a reason to, but they want to create a psychological operation to keep your attention off of what is happening. Yesterday, I had so many emails come in from people in the United States that were claiming that they saw the sun rise in the southwest sky in the morning. So... I immediately went outside, and I know the area that I live in, and I cracked off a few pictures of the sun at high noon, 12 o'clock. Well, guess what? The sun was not where it was supposed to be. It was literally in the southwest region of the sky. I took a few of these photographs. I tried my best to analyze them as far as where the sun should be, and I literally held up my sky map application. I pointed it directly to where the sun should be, and it was off. Now, as far as the, the, the degrees, the amount of distance, I don't have that information. I'm not a scientist, but it was definitely off. And the sun was still at 12 o'clock noon, very low in the horizon. And then once again, first thing this morning, the emails came in again. People are noticing that the sun is not rising in the due east. It is rising near the south. How can that be possible? The only way that I can figure this can be possible is if the earth is being tugged on right now and we are actually tilting already. Now, the earth has a natural tilt of 23.5 degrees. Some scientists and debunkers will say, oh, we're going into the uh, the fall winter solstice, blah, 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 blah. They're going to give you a bunch of riffraff that's not going to make too much sense to you. Other than when you look up in the sky and you see the sun rising in the south, what in the heck is going on? So listen, we have a ton of information that's going to be coming out probably within the next 48 to 72 hours. We're doing our best. We're getting inundated by emails. Literally yesterday, we received 3,772 emails from around the world asking, what is this in the sky? What is this in the nighttime sky? People were sending photographs in of a planetary object that was near Venus for the last several days. We did a video on it. We checked into it. It's no known planet. It's not Saturn. It is not um, another star system uh, that, that, that's out there. No, it's none of these things. And today I'm fired up because there are things occurring all over the world and nobody is paying attention to them. We're walking around with blinders on. You need to open up your eyes, folks. Everybody needs to pay attention to these things that are going on. Please stay tuned.